Hey everybody, it's Justin, and today I want to showcase the declarative lookup rollup summaries package and how you can use this package to enhance your Salesforce org and Salesforce practice. So what is the DLRS uh, package? Uh, what this is, is it's a way to increase your uh, the amount of lookups that you have on a on an object. So uh, the standard lookup summary is um, not only replicated, but also enhanced in some ways through this package. And additionally, um, you can use this on um, more than just a standard master detail relationship. You can also use this on lookup relationships uh, as well as bypass that 25 per object limit that's standard Salesforce functionality. So with that, let's get into maybe some of the pros of using this package. Uh, first one being that it's the low, low cost of free. Bam, nobody hates free stuff. So um, not only is it free, but it's also open source. Uh, so we can go and read the, um, code for a given page um, or for a given class. I don't know how um, useful this is necessarily for the general public, but more specifically that you can um, read this is anybody can read this and which is great because let's say that there's an issue because Salesforce updates their code base or Salesforce updates their um, permissions and standards, then uh, there is a huge community uh, on the DLRS website that, or not website, but the repository that um, shares all this information openly. So it's great because if you're getting a specific bug, you're able to fix this and um, also look and, and see if anybody else is giving a given bug, which could help speed up kind of your debug process. Uh, and I think the thing that comes to, to mind is um, there's actually a winter 2020 uh, release that was actually breaking a lot of packages. Uh, the form was in this invalid field, invalid created date. Um, and this um, the underlying issue behind this was actually present in, in a lot of packages. It was uh, DLRS, however, that um, was kind of the first public uh, place for this information to um, be given. So super great that um, things were um, posted here, which allowed um, a lot of people's bacon to be saved. Um, with that, let's go into maybe some cons. Um, I don't know if there's necessarily cons per se of the package. However, um, if we look at the commit history, we'll notice that uh, commits are pretty much happening quarterly. Uh, and the reason why this is, is not really because the uh, package is um, abandoned or because um, you know, the, the owner here has, has lost interest. It's more that the package has kind of um, reached its maximum um, effectiveness in, in its current state. And there's not necessarily things that need to be actively updated to um, further increase value to, in the package. Uh, and so many of the updates that are happening are more just standard protocols to either bug fix or go and um, fix and update to the latest Salesforce protocol. So that's really the, the main thing. Um, so, and again, the only reason why we know how frequently commits are happening to the uh, project is because the commits are public. So, uh, packages that are closed source, you would not be able to find this information anyway. Uh, with that, let's go and jump into the installation process. Okay, so I am at the install 
screen for the DLRS tool and I am going to go ahead and install for admins only. I believe that is the best uh, permission setup to do. Uh, and again, links are down below in the description to go and access this. Uh, and you can also search DLRS on your preferred search engine if uh, the links are down, I guess. Uh, so with that, um, that's kind of the first step. And I'm going to go ahead and show you inside of Salesforce what this looks like. Okay, so we are inside Salesforce here. We have the um, declarative lookup rollup summary app uh, on screen. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a simple rollup summary. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be summing the count of all contacts that are related to an account. Um, so with that, uh, let's go ahead and get started. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Manage Lookup Rollup Summaries tab, and you'll be greeted with this page. Uh, and this may be a little bit overwhelming, uh, very manual, but um, we'll walk through the steps here to get everything taken care of. Uh, so what we need first is a name. So I'm going to do the name as number of contacts. Um, the unique name is going to be kind of the API name. So we'll need to adhere to that schema. So specifically, things like spaces are not allowed here. Um, so I'm going to be replacing spaces with um, underscores, but um, it's going to be the same premise as the name. The parent object in this case is going to be the account. Uh, because that's what uh, we're going to store the information on. Um, the relationship field is how your child object, uh, which is going to be the contact, is related. Um, so the contacts related to the account through the standard field called account ID. Um, there's going to be no relationship criteria. Uh, field to aggregate, uh, because we're going to be doing accounts, uh, it's considered best practice to just use the ID field. Uh, specifically, if you use like a custom field, the custom field could be deleted and that would break this. So that's the main reason. But um, we're going to be doing account. And after the setup, I'll go back and explain maybe a couple of use cases of the various um, aggregates. Um, the aggregate result field is going to be how we're going to store this information. Uh, now I don't have a field set up, so I'm going to go ahead and create a field on the account. Um, so I'm going to go to setup and the object manager and the account. And I'm going to go ahead and create a field called number of contacts. It's going to be a number field. And, um, the length is 18, it's fine, it's a whole number, this, this won't matter too much. Uh, and make sure that your profile is visible to this field, Assessing V is system admin, so it's fine, and page layout settings accordingly. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and save this, and I'm actually gonna search for this and use the field name. Um, so the, this is the number of contacts with underscores, ends in underscore, underscore C. So we're going to be using this as our result field here. Aggregate all rows. Now what you would use this for, this setting for, is if you wanted to use deleted field or deleted rows. So if you deleted a record and you still wanted to show that, uh, that's what you would do here. Uh, I don't want that, um, so I'm not going to do it. And then row limit um, is um, another, another option. Again, I don't need to use that in this case. This active checkbox, we'll come back to this and uh, to actually turn this on. Uh, but for now, we, we need to keep it unchecked so we can set up the trigger. Um, the calculation mode is going to be real time. That's what I'd recommend for, for most people. And the calculation sharing mode is going to be system. Now, when we use the user, that includes role hierarchies, which makes sense in, in some cases. But uh, for this case, we're just going to be using the system 
um, sharing mode to calculate things. And with that, let's go ahead and save. So we can see the lookup summary here. Uh, instead of create new, we see the number of contacts. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to manage child, child trigger and it says click to deploy. Uh, so we're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom and deploy. And this will take a little bit, uh, but what this does is this deploys the ensuring code so we can actually uh, run rollup summaries, which is the purpose of the app. Uh, with that, it says that it's installed, so great. We're gonna go back to the Manage uh, Summaries tab. We're gonna click on that number of contacts and we're gonna set it to active and save it. Uh, now it's saved, so it's up and running. So anytime you edit a record, it will update the correlated value. Uh, but uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a full calculate right here. Um, and you could filter out records. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna run the full calculate job. This is a test org uh, and it's pretty much always already gonna be ready. Uh, but with that, we can go to a given account. So I'm just gonna go to sales for instance. Um, and if we go to accounts, then um, we see here this um, contact here. I And I'm gonna go over to the details section. And again, we can see the number of contacts is one. Brilliant, works just as expected. If I maybe go to another record, uh, one of the um, test records inside of Salesforce, um, I don't know, edge communications, we see two contacts. We go to details, there's two contacts, brilliant. Okay. So that's the uh, kind of the gist of the package. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go back into the setup and talk about a few other um, types of rollups that um, I've seen and talk about use cases. So some uh, is very simple, maybe like a total deal count for an opportunity. Uh, again, you can do filters, so maybe you want it by, um, I don't know, total deal count uh, for all the opportunities where the state is California, could be an option. Uh, or maybe domestic, so where country equals US. Max, maybe you want the biggest deal done by a client. Uh, min, uh, maybe the smallest deal. Average, I think these are very um, straightforward. Uh, count, that's just what we did. Um, now these three, I have not seen any anything. Now you could maybe devise some of your own ideas. Uh, but first and last is what I wanna talk about. So um, if you think of the structure of this as actually a SQL query, uh, which is what this is, uh, then you could use the first and last to um, to get the information needed. Uh, so the thing that I've seen this on is like activity date. Uh, so maybe you want the uh, first activity date or the most recent activity date. Uh, so you could do a roll up on an activity and put the last, uh, you put a limit as one. Um, and um, you could do the created date. And what that would do is that would show the most recent uh, activity inside of, um, maybe you have it on the account. So it would show the most recent activity on the account and it would be um, quite instructive. Um, That probably uh, is is one of the only use cases for first and last, but um, I don't know. Uh, leave a comment down below if you um, have any other thoughts on, on how things could be used. Uh, additionally, leave a comment down below if you have any questions or um, concerns. With that, thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video.